my other readings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fusov, and today May 9th, 2018. And today I would like to continue the tradition of uh, different YouTubers to talk about some strange things happening with tourists and expats in a foreign country. And today I will be talking about some mistakes for foreigners in Ukraine and in Kyiv as well. So, so I will tell you about if you five top mistakes what foreigners do in Ukraine. So, and by the way, of course, I checked these mistakes uh, which have been shown in the other bloggers. So I am agree with some of them, some of them just slightly exaggerated. I selected five my special mistakes which you cannot expect or which you can expect, which you can feel like a sweet things, or in the same time it, you can be disappointed as well. So, and what's about these things? Okay, first of all, of course, about English. I'm talking English, but nevertheless, if you expect that many people in Ukraine will speak English, because it looks like Ukrainian society is going to be joined, something like a European society, to be just in a global environment, but nevertheless, and it's absolutely sure that majority of Ukrainian people do not speak English. They do not speak English because of different reasons. For old generation, very, very old generation studied German language in majorities, but now their grandfathers and grandmothers, just middle generation, never used the English language in the common life in the time of the former USSR, former Soviet Union, USSR. And only part of people just travel around the world and at the present time, younger generation can use it, because fortunately in Ukraine now we have just this kind of a, a traveling in some European countries without visa, but nevertheless everything depends from education. So uh, Ukrainian style of education in language is not sufficient to speak English. It can be sufficient to read English but difficult to listen to English, to understand English. But to use a telephone or smartphone it's much easier, and especially if it is just a Google Translator it's much easier. But speaking English is a difficult problem for many people, and by the way, for younger people as well. Even if they are students, most of them never used English in their common life. Why we should use English language in their common life if we are working in Ukrainian and Russian-speaking society? Half Ukrainian, half Russian, and on a very narrow uh, part of society can speak with foreigners at their job. Yes, because there are some foreign companies in Ukraine, and of course, uh, highly trained specialists, they speak English in these companies, in hotels, in joint ventures, in uh, some different foreign companies, but this is very thin part of society. But nevertheless, nevertheless, if you are going to the shop, maybe some people can speak with you a little bit English, especially if it is uh, some food shops or just the restaurants, definitely. So waiters, waiters and waitresses will speak English, especially in the center of city, like a big city like Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, or other cities in Ukraine. Or uh, somewhere in a travel station some people can speak English, but common cashier in a travel station, in a railway station, in a bus station will not speak English. Forget about it. Forget about it. Especially if you're coming to the shop, somewhere in a food shop, in a, somewhere in a big market, where just uh, people like the farmers were selling something, they do not speak English. So that's why you can use your sign language for communication. And it's sufficient. It will be good enough. Show like that, take it and carry it to the cashier. So, but another part. If you are coming to Ukraine for different purposes, maybe you need to find different people in different business. So you can come for business, which means for business for your job. Maybe you can come for study and for education. Maybe you're coming just as a tourist. 
uh, to watch some interesting historical places, museums, entertaining exhibitions, art exhibitions as well. Maybe you're coming for sport, sports uh, events like in, in this month will be just UEFA Championship League in Ukraine. Football fans will come to Ukraine and Kiev. Thousands. And, or maybe you're coming just for some medical service. It is also a good idea. But be careful about language use. So, and when you are coming for this, so what first you need, you need to have your just apartment or you have to live somewhere. So what about hotels? Very important part number two. This is to book hotel in advance. Now it's much easier if you can use Google. So you can make a booking on Google. If you are just in Australia, in Canada or in America, it's much easier to make booking through internet. Maybe you can pay just one night in advance. It will be for sure. Uh, and if you are coming to you inside uh, before uh, appropriate event, sometimes it can be difficult to find hotel at the same day because all Hotels can be booked like uh, now I heard from television and from some discussions that all the hotels fully booked before this championship league competition in Ukraine and uh, no, prices for, for hotels high rocketing. Yes, that's true because Kiev as a capital of Ukraine is not considered as a center of tourism in Ukraine uh, because tourists are coming here but we are welcome but not too much by the way. Uh, why not too much? Because what is the profit from these tourists? Uh, I have my visitor uh, now in Ukraine and just not for fun but for special purpose we looked around the center of Kyiv uh, coming from, through the Bogdan Khmelnytsky street, then Leontovich street, then Prorizna street, then Khrushchev street, Pushkinska street, in the, precisely in the downtown in center of Kyiv and we were able to find just one, two, three, one and two hotels uh, when each, despite we crossed uh, six streets, just totally maybe three kilometers in the center, three hotels. So, and what's about prices? In, in this common day the price uh, was approximately for 70, 70 dollars in one and uh, 45 dollars in another one and 50 dollars uh, in the next one. So as I remember the highest price was over 75 dollars in Ukrainian hryvnia it was approximately 2000 Ukrainian hryvnia. If you can compare it to uh, with Ukrainian salary just for your fun this is one third of Ukraine of an average Ukrainian salary for one day. One day, this is a in a, in a good hotel. It costs one third of average Ukrainian salary. So this is just for your comparison. So be careful. Just book your hotel in advance because room renting offices also existing in Ukraine. So it's easy to attend them through internet, or you can ask your friends. So we can book hotel or just rent apartment in the center of city for relatively just uh, suitable price. Because if you are coming just outside of the center of city, so the prices will be cheaper for sure. And uh, what's about coming to Ukraine for study and for uh, research, for instance, for study in university and for research in institute. Uh, here we have two different options. Many people are coming for education. So this is number three. Education is a good idea to make education in Ukraine, in Kyiv and other cities uh, like Kyiv and Kharkov, Lviv, Odessa. Yes, it's a good idea uh, because uh, the prices, the price, the price for education in Ukraine is definitely cheaper than in the United States of America or cheaper than in the United Kingdom, uh, for sure. Uh, but uh, it will be cheaper than in France and in Germany. Mm, but uh, from my point of view, uh, 
uh, nevertheless suggests the level of education will be lower than in Britain or in States. Because, because even just in such a very famous universities like Kiev Polytechnic University, uh, a lot of uh, new teachers are coming in, they're very young, they do not pay too much attention to the students, and definitely also not all students who are coming, they are able to speak Russian and Ukrainian, even after one year of training before entering the university. So that's why some Students who are coming from Middle East, from Southeast Asia, uh, from India, so they can speak English, but they speak, they do not speak fluent uh, Ukrainian or Russian language, and uh, not all teachers they speak English fluently, by the way, and in some universities. Uh, the communication between teachers, professors, and students. Uh, very, very insufficient. It means they do like to give some homework for students and they need to work just at home and then just come in with the results and present these results for professors and for teachers. So it was about teaching, so no teaching at all it means. So you need teaching himself and herself yourself. So that's why uh, the level of education, I'm not sure how good is one at the present time. And what's about the research? Uh, to be uh, for people who would like to know to come to Ukraine for postdoctoral study or for PhD graduation. Here this is a tricky situation. Uh, this is for some of my subscribers and for my colleagues who asked me several times about this question about PhD graduation or students and scholarship in Ukraine. We have no scholarship in Ukraine and no fellowship in Ukraine for foreign students, it means you know, the state are not able, and state and institute, scientific research institute are not able to pay for students for their study here. Even if you are coming with your money from abroad, you are not so welcome here. What is the, what is actually uh, value of your coming here for the state and for our organization. Practically only scientific value, but financial value nothing at all, uh, because it, it is only spending time of research with this person, and institute organization has nothing to do with this, because organization cannot sometimes provide the working place, working facilities, and cannot provide even just the a supervisor, a teacher or professor who will be able to speak English, English to teach this postgraduate student and or just a student or just PhD, a postdoc student as well. So no postdoc, no PhD graduation in Ukraine. Uh, if only you are coming for study in at uni, for in university. So and after graduation in university you can enter the it's called Aspirantura in Ukraine and it's called PhD graduation course for four years in Ukraine and after that you can be graduated in Ukraine and get now the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. So if you will complete it fully in Ukraine with Ukrainian uh, stipendium for PhD which is actually an uh, average about $200 for one month. So it will not be fully enough to rent a house for you and have a food. But if you have some money from home, you can bring your money and use the stipendium, your money, and to be participating in your PhD study, for example. So that's for some people who just asked me about PhD radiation in Ukraine. And for uh, some question in university, you can write down where I, just under my video. So that's about education. Uh, what about security in Ukraine? Yes, in general I could say the uh, uh, city of Kiev is uh, pretty safe. Some places in Ukraine in the western part is safe, but in eastern part there are some unsafe places, so I do not recommend you to come there as a foreigner, because you will have uh, just a lot of troubles, unfortunately, here in Kiev. We do not have any troubles connected with the East till now.
So be careful about it. If you need to know more about it, just read newspapers and watch some videos on the internet. What's going on there? That's another point of question. So and the next point, okay, security is more or less safe, but nevertheless, nevertheless, as some people say, be careful about it. Because obviously if you're American, if you're just uh, from Southeast Asia, from China or from another country, from Latin America, you are obviously very visible that you are a foreigner. Even if you have a white skin, you have a different dress, you have a different t-shirt. If you are just in sh your shorts, I say in pants. So in shirts, this is some people say, yeah, that's Americans, they're coming like that. So if you are just walking, just your statue and just how you are walking, along the street it's, you are visible but you are foreign because you are looking around you keep just uh, your camera on your neck so be careful about your camera so don't always just take your camera in your hands and walk in with your camera freely so be careful about your telephone telephone which can be stolen or and about your wallet in your pockets and of course about your documents documents and your tickets it can be stolen because somebody can follow you and you can be robbed in a dark place and despite there are no too many dark places but people know these places and you can be robbed even in the center of city so that's why be careful about a little bit or if you have a just a very funny appearance appearance like a gay sort of like a blue hairs something like a here like a rings in your ears so rings like here like a modern guy's head so you can be beaten somewhere just hardly on your face unless you got a blood in your on your face and it will not be a pleasant vacation in Ukraine and even in the center of Kiev so be careful about it and check so your appearance at least you have your some kind of a cap to close yes, your blue blue or just pink or just maybe yellow hairs if you have it so because some people do not like such a kind of special appearances I'm not sure if they are racist or not racist or they're just strange and it happens sometimes so be careful about security and my last point about the fifth point about mistakes so that's about investments investments I like this question very much because people can lose some money in this question and can earn some money we are coming to Ukraine to earn money definitely because if you are coming to work in a foreign company it's appreciated in Ukraine now even some ministers in Ukraine they were foreigners I'm not sure about their skills how do like they working in some people just laughing about their skills if they were a musician and they were just ministers in Ukraine so but that's not the story but if you are a highly skilled specialist you're welcome maybe you can earn money from some commercial companies which you are insisted to pay you money by government or oh, government will spend money just for these foreigners maybe ten thousand dollars you will get a salary in Ukraine why not? Yes, government pay you ten thousand dollars and two two hundred dollars for all another states workers. Don't forget about it. Well, but what's about your business? Here, this investment I, I separated on three different places and different parts. So the investments in business, investment in banks, and investment in property. So about business. If you like to come to Ukraine for business, not only working in some corporation, in say just any shop, in a private company, but you would like to start your business. Some people also ask me on my channel, uh, what do you advise about a business in Ukraine? Just honestly saying, oh, I'm not quite sure about profitable business in Ukraine because I'm not a businessman, I'm a researcher. But uh, as far as I know from newspapers, from talks, from television, from internet, and from communication with people, with some, even with some businessmen, yes, indeed. So I know this is a uh, not so lucky business in Ukraine. 
Uh, yes, some people claim it's good to earn money in Ukraine, but you need to know rules in Ukraine, whom to pay and how to do everything, whom to pay. Well, it's not about uh, bribery, that's all about uh, different rules, about documentations, about different papers, about registration, about taxation, about all these formalities, bureaucracy, and of course permissions, permissions, because you can do something in Ukraine, but you will not get permission to do it. You can dream about it, but permission costs a lot of money. And this permission you can spend the money, and you will not get the product, or you will not have the permission to export your product. So that's why you will need to find how to do it again, if you like this tricky business, to get permissions and to go through it, you are really welcome. But uh, do remember that business in Ukraine is highly risky. I would say maybe 60% risky or 70% of risky to lose money or rather to earn money. Well, about banks in Ukraine. For banks, I can even cite some people here because I found very nice journal which is freely distributed in different cafes and restaurants. And this is it's called Kiev Check-in. It's about different uh, good places and destinations in Ukraine and in Kiev, in Kiev particularly. And also here some, uh, like I found a, one article named Expat Corner. So it's about setting daily expenses, about opening a bank account. So in Ukraine you can open bank account if you get a taxation number. So, but nevertheless, it's not very safe to keep money in Ukraine. Yes, if you're coming to Ukraine with your money, keep your money on your bank account in America, in Australia, or in South, in Latin America. It's more safe. However, you're coming here with some cash. Of course, some cash you can spend slowly for your apartment, and other part you can still keep in Ukrainian bank, which you will be allowed to open after getting taxation number. But nevertheless, even some people like here in this journal indicated some foreigners and expat by say, I like I would advise sticking to banks connected to foreign companies because they are safe, follow strong due diligence principles, and tend to comply with European regulations, which are stronger than Ukrainians. Yeah, well, among these banks, uh, this person say. Among these banks are Credit Agricole, BNP Paribas Group Bank, Raffaising Bank, Aval, OTP Bank, and Unicredit Bank. So these are banks with foreign money, by the way. And other person, for instance, say, I don't use Ukrainian banks, it's difficult for American person. So that's why what I also just suggest. It's quite difficult to keep uh, good money in a, a Ukrainian bank because uh, in any time all these banks can make a kind of a special regulations how it's also repeated here that some of them trying to keep US dollars and withdraw them from a local bank might be a challenge might be a challenge because these different regulations will not allow you to take off your your money just in one day, maybe with some limit, or maybe where some regulation will not allow you to give this money. Or and of course, the most important that some of Ukrainian banks they do like to be bankrupted. You know, bankruption, bankruptcy in Ukraine. That's a nice business. So be careful about Ukrainian banks. So that's in my opinion. So because most of people don't trust them. And what else uh, in my list or my in my list? Uh, the property. The property, yeah, this is a good idea to come to Ukraine to buy property in Ukraine. Because from one side uh, this property will be cheaper than uh, for instance in London, you know, in some places in Ox like in Oxford, in Britain, or maybe in Paris, or in Lyon, or maybe even in New York and Manhattan or maybe in California, will be much more expensive 
rather than in Ukraine. So if you have just uh, some extra money, of course, you can spend it here, buy apartment, close it with a key, not one one key, but with a two one door and two second door and maybe a couple more, maybe with four keys if you close your apartment it will be safe, four keys or six keys. And you can be just uh, living in other country and visiting Ukraine from time to time, or you can use it as a business as well, maybe you can uh, allows for some people to rent your apartments for very good money, but of course you will not buy very poor apartments like a majority of Ukrainians live. This is not a European standard of life. If you can buy just a good standard house apartment in Kiev or in other city, this costs a good money, so appropriate at least, but it still can be just cheaper than in States or in or in France, or in Germany, or in Britain. So this can be a good investment, because at least at the present time the price is like not a high rocketing, where it's just dropping, dropping, dropping down during the past five years at least. If prices go down, maybe just by nearly the bottom, maybe we can try to come a little bit, but we will not high rocketing as it was before, maybe 15 years ago. So that this can be a good investment of money because people are trying to come here and maybe to search for some opportunities. So in this investment, this investment will be working for a longer time, and at least uh, now the law and the regulations are permitted to buy apartments like a private house or just apartment like in a in a multi-story, multi-floors building, it's allowed it from Ukrainian law, so you can do it, and it can be quite useful. Maybe, the, but maybe the prices will fall down, but still, you can use it for some purposes. You can sell it in any time. So these are some mistakes what foreigners can do in Ukraine, and with some of my comments, that's not enough. I will cut. I will continue in my next video because this is, these subjects are very wide, very interesting, and I guess so it can be quite funny and entertaining for you, especially if you are coming to Ukraine for some touristic purposes, or maybe for dating, maybe for searching a wife, maybe for looking for a nice Ukrainian not a man, sorry, but the woman, so Ukrainian women are very, this is about Valentine's Day, so men is just giving flowers for women, and the women, some Ukrainian women just were waiting for you, for sure. But this is, will be the point for next my video, so looking forward to see you, my subscriber, write your comments, ask your questions, and just, if you have some private questions, I always can give you just my email, so we can communicate privately on email. It's my great pleasure to be here with you and subscribe to my channel. Or press on this bell and write your comments. Good luck and see you soon on my channel. Bye bye, I'm Victor Fusov and my channel Victor Fusov, entomologist, big teacher. Good luck, see you soon.